Hello, Joe from Joe K Models here. All right, we have the cockpit completely painted. I did some weathering, some washes, and I'm ready to start assembling the pieces together. So I thought this would be a good time to uh, show you the finished product of what I've been doing. So taking a look here at the cockpit, I did everything with the interior green, cockpit green, and um, I used sky on some of these rib details coming out just to give a little bit of a different color, so a lighter type green on here. And then I painted this, I don't know what this is, maybe a radio box of some sort. Um, I did that in a dark green, a really dark green. And then I did the uh, switches using white. And then over everything, I took flat aluminum with a dry brush and I just kind of dry brushed some aluminum on there just to show a little bit of the metal showing through. And then to finish that off, I, I sealed it with a gloss coat and then I put on a black panel line wash using, um, to me, a black uh, panel on that. Pretty much did the same thing for the floor of the canopy, except I did put some brown on there as well to simulate um, the mud. I know back here it's not not very clean, but I left it like that because the seat's going to go over there. You're not even going to see that part of it. Um, so I was just mainly focused around this area. Um, plus with the pilot in there, you're not going to see much anyway, but um, also added the, the flat uh, aluminum dry brush to that. So I think that looks pretty good. Um, so most of the time where you're going to see that metal is where the feet are kind of uh, scraping a lot. So along the floor here and then where the pedals are, I made sure to get that uh, flat aluminum and mud color on there as well. Here's the seat. Same type of deal on that. Used a desert tan for the uh, headboard piece. And then this is how the control panel turned out. So if you might remember from last time, I uh, added using um, some cut up pieces of plastic, some, um, some of the dial parts so that those parts would be protruding out of the dash instead of just being flat. So I added the decal to it and I used um, a lot of the uh, Mr. Mark Sutter Strong on there. So I put that on there after I did a gloss coat, put the decal on there, and then um, put some more on it to help it adhere. And then I also did a very, very, very light coat of the panel line, extra thin. And I just kind of put that on the parts where it was down more to sink those in and that's the result that I got so let's take a look at how these different pieces come together so taking the seat this piece is just going to go on here like so And then you have the control panel. Let's get the guy in there first. And once the guy's in there, you'll see that there's not a lot of room to put the control panel on there. I kind of opened it up a little bit, so let's see if we can't get that in there now. Fits together pretty well. The guy's a little bit too big. His feet aren't exactly in the right spot. I thought about maybe chopping his legs off, but 
I think we might be able to work with that. It's not perfectly straight, but I'm not looking for them to be perfectly straight. I mean, people move all the time inside the cockpit, so let's see how this goes in here. So as you can see, there's a piece right there. This just fits right up on there, like so. And that's all you do, just fit it like that. So let's get the second half on here. And I didn't have to fight it at all. Everything snaps right into place. As you can see the headboard is right there. I'm gonna have to do a test fit of the glass canopy to make sure that's gonna fit out okay. Um, very important to, you know, dry fit the pieces together because if you glue everything together and then you try to put it together, you know, you could run into problems. So that's why I'm a big proponent of uh, dry fitting the pieces. Um, another thing that I'm gonna do is before I even get to this step of gluing these parts in here, is I'm going to glue everything just like how it is sitting in here. So that way, once I have the control panel, the seat and everything glued into place, I'll know that all I gotta do is just stick it in right there and it's not gonna, it's, everything's gonna fit perfectly because it's already sitting in the correct position. So adding a little bit of glue right now is gonna really get those in the right spot. And then once it dries, I can take this out and then glue the other sides together and then put it on afterwards. So putting in the, um, the cockpit can be tricky on some kits. Um, this one fits pretty, pretty good. So um, that's where we're at. So you're not gonna see a lot of the detail, you know, I mean, from a top perspective, all the work that you did in there, but I guess it's documented on video, so I know it's in there. And here's the pilot with this control panel. I think the control panel turned out very good. I'm, I'm very pleased with that. So I think moving forward, I might be doing something similar with those. So that's where I'm at. Wanted to make a video, show you guys where I am now that all of the interior details are complete. And um, I'm gonna continue on. I'll see you on the next vlog. Thank you very much, Joe from Joe K Models.